Good evening. A plan is now in the works for the City of Erie School District to return students to the classroom this coming fall. But now school board members need ways to ensure safe social distancing inside and outside the classroom. The story is new at 10 o'clock tonight. Star Bodie spoke to students and parents about their concerns for in-person classroom learning. Star. Sean, there's no plan set in place, but the Erie School Board is unveiling what the future could look like as they anticipate the students' return. Plans are underway for the Erie School District to welcome back its students this fall. This coming after the Pennsylvania Department of Education provides preliminary guidance for reopenings of schools. I'm mostly nervous about being exposed and at the same time exposing others because this virus is very unpredictable. And I fear that I will affect some teachers, some other students. And the classroom setting could look a lot different from previous years. From rows of students side by side to this. Thus, completely spaced out in smaller class sizes. Uh, the CDC and the Department of Education are recommending uh, six feet of distance between desks uh, when they're all possible. So you know, right now we're just going through our buildings and assessing uh, with, with those parameters. Superintendent Polito tells us it's still unclear if students will be required to wear masks during the school day. The school board also looking into ways to socially distance more than 5,000 students on buses to and from schools. That's just not uh, even possible, so we're more than likely going to have to look at some type of alternative schedule next year, uh, a hybrid of uh, in-person and remote learning. Some parents tell us the idea of having hybrid classes or learning at home in the fall would create more stress on students and parents. These kids need to get back to something that's normal, that's familiar, and honestly, it's very hard to be trying to teach them math, science, all the things while holding a full-time job. It's, it's almost impossible. Now, the school board looks to have a set instructional plan by the beginning of July that would have safety precautions and guidelines. And during the meeting, the board also holding off on a tax increase until June 30th to make a final decision for that budget. Sean? And I am guessing that there are a lot of parents sharing that parent's concerns. Yeah, there's a lot of people we spoke to, and they're still worried as to what that school year could look like and, no you know, what their students would have to do. All right, thank you, Star.